Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now, in today's video, I want to touch upon a topic which is so important and that's dark circles. Now, it's something I have been battling for a very long time because I'm not the best sleeper. I'm actually a very, very light sleeper and over time, I have really bad dark circles. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can color correct your dark circles and mask it in the right way. A lot of people have the misconception that you need to put a lot of concealer to conceal those dark circles, but that actually is incorrect. What you really need to do is color correct under your eye and I will deep dive into it and show you how it is done. But it was so important that I shared this with you guys because I used to make that mistake and I've seen a lot of people make it. So I thought it was important that I make a video and show you the right way. So let's not waste time and dive right into it. Now I've already prepped my face, I've put moisturizer and primer on my face. The thing about the eye and dark circles are that you really need to make sure that you hydrate the under eye before you color correct it. Only because the area under the eye is so so sensitive that you need to make sure that it's hydrated enough and protected enough. So before I actually color correct the under part of my eye um, to remove the dark circles, I'm actually going to be putting some eye gel just to make sure that the area is plumped and moisturized. For that, I'm actually using the Helix AM PM Eye Gel by Volation. And this is a very, very creamy eye gel. So it's perfect to hydrate the under eye part. Now that I've prepped my under eye, I'm actually going to color correct it. Now, like I mentioned before, the biggest misconception people have and they actually do is that they take tons of concealers and they put it under the eye hoping that it will mask the dark circles. But in fact, what concealer does is actually it highlights that dark circle area and, you know, shows your wrinkles much more than you expect. So concealer is not the ideal way to mask your dark circles but what you actually need to do is color correct your face uh, to ensure that you're combating the dark circles with the appropriate color. So the area under the eye is a little dark and you want to use a color that is has the opposite effect of it. So the color you actually need to combat dark circles is orange, deep orange or red depending on the tone of your skin. Now, I usually use uh, the orange shade in my color correcting palette to combat the dark circles. But you know what? You can even use lipsticks in the shade orange or red if you don't have a color correcting palette and you don't want to spend money on it. Um, so I'm actually going to be using the Sorme uh, color correcting palette. And uh, you might have seen this in my earlier videos. I'm going to be using the dark orange uh, under my eye to color correct it. But like I said, you can also use a lipstick in orange or red to get the same effect. But for today's video, I'm going to be using the Sorme palette. And what I'm going to do is take the deep orange and pat it under my eyes. I mean, if you don't want to use a brush, you can definitely use your ring finger as well. So I've applied the orange shade around my eyes, uh, specifically under the dark circles. I'm going to let it sit for a while and then I'm going to apply my foundation. So now that it's set well, I'm going to take my foundation and I'm again using the Becca Skin Love in Olive. And I'm going to blend everything together. You can already see that uh, the dark circles are so much lesser than before I actually color corrected it. I mean, when I discovered that you could actually use this to reduce your dark circles, I was just blown away. Only because I've been suffering from dark circles like forever and concealers used to never work. And then I finally figured out that concealer was not the answer to mask dark circles. So now that I have managed to reduce the darkness under my eye, now is when I'm actually going to be using a concealer. So I'm going to be taking the Fit Me Concealer and just using it slightly under my eye, 
not very close to the eyelid that's where the dark circles are and also it's the wrinkly part so when you are putting concealer on the very wrinkly part it will actually enhance those wrinkles and you don't want that so i just apply it uh, slightly under my eye right above my cheekbone because i want that area to be highlighted So depending on how much coverage you want, uh, you can go ahead and, and apply the color corrector and then the concealer. I think this is pretty sufficient for me because I'm also going to be doing uh, a little bit on my eye, putting an eyeliner which will pretty much combat the darkness under the eye. So now the last thing I do uh, before I apply the rest of my makeup is I'm going to take a translucent powder and this one is by uh, Laura Mercier and I'm just going to take a little bit and set the under eye. So now that my base is done, I'm going to be doing the rest of my makeup. I'll just put a little bit of bronzer and blush and do my eyes and I will be right back. Voila! So I am ready and you can clearly see that my dark circles compared to what it was, it's pretty much toned down and yep, I also put some red lipstick because I felt like it. I hadn't put red in a very long time so I thought why not and the rest of the products that I used on my face was just highlighter, blush, a bit of bronzer uh, and I did a little bit of my eyebrow. Uh, so I'm going to list all of that in the description below so you have some idea on what I used to create the rest of my look. But before I end this video, I want to quickly say that um, in terms of when it comes to the eyes, it's not just masking it, but it's also taking good care of it. So on a daily basis, it's so important that you cleanse your face and before you sleep, you apply an eye cream because that will really, really help to soothen the area under your eye and over a period of time, reduce your dark circles. Because color correcting and stuff like that, it's, it's a quick fix. But over a period of time, it's important that you take care of the skin under your eye because it's so, so sensitive. The other thing I usually do uh, to make sure that if I have put a lot of makeup and after I cleanse it, to soothen it, I take a little bit of ice, uh, wrap it in a muslin cloth or any cotton cloth that you might have and just make sure you deep puff your eye by gently putting the ice under your eye. Just pat it a little bit and it will make the under eye very fresh and soothing. A lot of people also put iced tea bags or cucumber that also helps uh, but I usually use ice because it's easily available and you know it, it's a quick quick fix. So make sure you're taking care of your eye over time and not just doing a quick fix but when you are doing your makeup this is the best way to combat those dark circles. So I hope this video was super super helpful and if you have any more questions on how to take care of your dark circles or uh, other questions related around it you know just leave it in the comments below and I I will answer it so that's all for today and i will see you next time in my next video but till then lots of love